psilocybin and other psychedelics, but psilocybin has been the main one, is it, it stimulates neuroplasticity, right? Neuroplasticity being the ability of the brain to actually change. It, you know, it, back in the day, we used to think that you're born with a certain complement of neurons and, and mm. they that's pretty much what you have all your life and they slowly die off. So as you age, you lose neurons. But we now know that's not true, that, uh, that new neurons can grow and yes. that psilocybin and other psychedelics actually can stimulate neural growth. It can stimulate the re- uh, uh, organization of neural networks, increase the connectivity, all of those things. It actually makes your brain function better. If there was a perfect psychedelic, I think psilocybin is in humans. And I actually think we can make the case that, uh, that humans have been co-evolutionary partners with psilocybin mushrooms for potentially millions of years, uh, what's sometimes called the stone ape hypothesis, that, you know, these things may have played a role in the origin of consciousness, in the origin of our cognitive abilities and the human imagination. When the idea was first proposed, it was dismissed, you know, more or less. Well, that's crazy. It's actually not so crazy. And new information has emerged to make it more plausible you know i think this is one of the main things that uh psychedelics can teach you is that we live in a world of wonder you know wonder is everywhere uh just to look at a tree look at the way it works <laughs> you know i mean that's an incredible being you know and all biological systems and the deeper you look the more marvelous they become <laughs> and i think i think that not only does psilocybin and particularly psilocybin but other psychedelics but not only do they help us learn about ourselves and and learn to be better humans better uh partners better members of society i mean they have an effect on all this but then they're also you know they're basically symbiotic partners you know and uh, especially mushrooms uh, and uh, so they have a co-evolutionary effect.